Hey, what's up guys? I thought it would be really cool to do a quick video telling you about the flow that I've been creating basically so that my nephew can help me release new podcasts. So I've decided I need a little bit of extra help because I want to have more time to just focus on doing the podcast itself rather than publishing it and handling stuff like social media and all that. I'm going to write the post still um, because I want everything to be from me. I don't want to have this contrived thing where somebody else is like writing my copy and all of that. But uh, my nephew's going to be in charge of basically scheduling those posts and, you know, making sure that podcasts go out and then a post comes out afterwards and, you know, all that kind of stuff so that everybody um, who's interested in my stuff is kept up to date. And maybe even doing some like really light emailing as well. Uh, but I need to figure out how to do that properly because the last thing I want to do is annoy people with emails. So I need to make sure that I've got the subscribing, unsubscribing stuff set up properly. Anyway, I digress. So... Let me run you through how this works because I think it's pretty cool. So this is a Dropbox folder and I've got that set up with Zapier. And if you don't know what Zapier is, it's an automation tool that allows you to say, if this happens, then do something else in another program. So it connects APIs. It's really cool. And basically, uh, I use ClickUp, which is kind of like monday.com to help me organize my tasks and my tasks with my, uh, my nephew. And I can say here, if I create a new folder, so this is... The Quasar Life podcast, if I create a new folder for episode 29, for example, then it automatically creates a task in here for my nephew. You can see that's his, his name's Bailey and that it's been assigned to him over there. So now what I can do is add in the raw audio file for my podcast and I can add in a document as well, which I call like my info document. And I've got like a template I use for this. So I'll do all the stuff for that. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's an example one here uh, where I can put in the title description, which is what he'll use, you know, for the YouTube and stuff like that. And then later on when we introduce social media, I can have stuff like, you know, Twitter social or something like that and maybe include like an image or whatever. But anyway, so I'll include an info doc and the raw audio file. And that's all I have to do. And then he takes over from there. So that creates a task in here automatically. And then it also links it up. So if I click on there, it links it up to that Dropbox folder. And then he can basically open this in his browser. Since so I think you can actually click on here and say, uh, so there it is there, 29. And there's like a show in file explorer. And there we go. So he can easily automatically open that up on his computer and start working within this folder. And so I've got a process for him to go through. Here's the other really cool thing about ClickUp. So we've got that part down so he can easily like um, pick up the task and start working away at it. But since he's new to this, he needs to know the process. So if we click on here, um, I can actually add documents in. I'll go full screen now. So I've got this new podcast process document. And this, I've been able to like uh, embed the videos, which is really cool because with a Google Doc, you actually can't embed a video. Whereas with ClickUp Docs, you can embed a video, which is super, super handy. And so he's got the video up here that he can play, but then the step-by-step -step instructions to do each of those things. So this is preparation, letting him to know, letting him know like if he needs extra information from me, he can basically, you know, send me a message and make sure that I supply it to him. We've got, you know, everything he needs to do to trim the audio, to make it sound good you know there's a few things i do here to make sure it's a good listening experience i um, mean that it's it's loud so that if you're in a car for example and you don't have a very good volume you know max volume on your car or on your headphones it's not good when you got really weak audio because then people can't hear it properly so the whole process there creating the video with um the video that's to be put on youtube and also setting up the cover image as well so we use canva and i tell him the process for creating the cover image uploading it to YouTube, uploading it to my podcasting platform, and then later on, we're going to go through social as well. So when I release a new podcast, as you can see, there's quite a big process here. And all I had to do is walk him through it. So, you know, it's got all, and I've got all the instructions here just in case he forgot anything. And now he can take over that entire process for me, which is really, really cool. And I can just focus on content. And now once he gets used to that, I can start adding in more processes. So Maybe down the line when he gets really good at video editing, he could start editing my coding videos. Um, I don't know about that because it is a pretty involved process. Um, yeah, anyway. But then I've got other sections here. So when he comes in here and then says, all right, I'm done here, 
He says, I have finished editing this. It is edited or oh, sorry, published. So that's actually, that actually moves him onto the publishing process as well. Uh, by the way, you get a board view as well. So if you want, you can even like drag it onto these different sections. So yeah, once he says, okay, this is done, it's published, that will automatically create a task in my social media section. Yeah, so notice here, it's created a new task for episode 29. And I used a template for that, so there's a whole bunch of subtasks as well. So, you know, uh, do the Twitter post. Do, um, what's this? Oh, that should have, I can probably remove that because that's already in the, in the publishing section. But anyway, all these extra things to basically get it out into social media is now pushed into this section. And the cool thing about that is later on down the line, since they're split up, one person could be focused on just editing because I'm going to have more podcasts down the line. I'm going to have the Quasar News podcast. I'm also going to have the, um, the, the Quasar Devs podcast where we do interviews. So once all that kind of stuff is um, implemented, the person who's doing editing can then just focus on editing. And later on, I could hire someone to do social media stuff. And I'm going to be out using social monoids or whatever it's called to basically schedule all of my social media. So he can then go through all of these tasks and make sure they're all done. So that's my process. I think it's pretty cool. It's very like automated. So I create the folder, um, let him know all the information for it. And once I'm done with that, I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to think about it anymore. He automatically edits the podcast. Um, when he's done editing it, it automatically creates a task in here for scheduling the posts for the podcast. And then on top of that, I've got him to do other stuff as well. So I've got a, no a knowledge section here. And so if he wants to read any of these books, I will buy them for him. So if he clicks on this tick and says, buy me this book, that will then associate me um, with this to do, basically meaning I get a, a notification on my phone saying, hey, Bailey wants to read this book. And then I'll buy him that book and send it directly to his house so he can go ahead and read it. And so as he starts reading these books, I can start giving him more responsibility and paying him more. And, you know, same with like videos, articles, and, you know, he recommended that I get onto TikTok and try that. And so he can go into articles now and add in a post that he found about TikTok, get me to read it. Um, and, you know, if he, if he sets that up, I can give him more responsibilities to, you know, to handling all my TikTok related stuff. And if he handles all of that, I can then pay him more. So, you know, if it gives him a chance to take initiative and if he takes initiative, then I can, you know, it's going to add more value to my company so I can pay him more money. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then other to-dos as well. I've got a space here. This is for all of Bailey's to-dos. Um, you know, come up with a TikTok process. And then all of my to-dos, setting up all of these different flows. Um, you know, stuff like um, Quasar Cast new video flow, for example. When I create a new video, what do I do? Uh, what's the social media stuff that I do? What automation do I need to make sure that that, you know, Bailey gets all of his tasks so that when I create a new Quasar Cast video, uh, everything that needs to happen, happens. So yeah, I love this. I love ClickUp. I just think it does an amazing job of organizing all of this for you. And I love that you've got these different views as well. And later on down the line, we'll start using like the calendar views. And this is all free. You can have like up to five people for free, which is just nuts. I think it's nuts. But um, I'm very interested in this part here though, the forms, which you have to pay for. But I, it would be really cool if I can be like, okay, I'm doing a new podcast, fill out this form, and it can be like, what's going to be the Twitter post? What's going to be the YouTube description? What's going to be um, the Instagram stuff? You know, can you give us a video for your, for like a quick Instagram post that's going to be, you know, in it? Stuff like that. So I reckon that's really, really cool. And you can even embed things like YouTube videos if you want to like show people how to do stuff in a different, um, you know, on, on a dedicated view. So yeah, just wanted to share that with all you guys. I thought it was, um, you know, it was really fun setting up these automations. And just to give you an idea of what I'm using, I'm using Zapier behind the scenes to do the extra automation. Uh, to do automation within ClickUp, it's actually got its own automation tools, which is really, really cool. So you can say like when I create a task here, um, or if I set this task to complete, then send, you know, create a new task over here and assign it to somebody. It's got stuff like task blocking saying, you know, you can't proceed until somebody else has completed their task, all that really cool stuff. And I think monday.com is very similar, but I just happen to really like um, ClickUp. And so I'm using Zapier for other automations. So stuff like hooking up Dropbox to ClickUp. You know, later on when I start using ClickFunnels to, to advertise my courses, I'll be able to 
hook up click funnels so that when people buy a course I can send them a quick video for example um, I'll be using like many chat so that I can have a chat bot as well so if people want to know via um, Facebook Messenger they can sign up for my chat bot and I'll let them know when new videos are released and stuff like that if they're interested in that uh, and then on top of that I also use I think it's called like Intergromit or something into Gromit yeah Intergromit is kind of like Zapier but they do pretty much the same thing but I like Intergromit a little bit more and it has some features that Zapier doesn't but then Zapier has some features that Intergromit doesn't so I like to be able to use both uh, yeah so Hopefully you learned something from this video and maybe you can start doing uh, some of this automation in your own company. So yeah, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed this one.